it's a little bit different for each of the islands. Some have a little more rain than others. Um, but essentially, it's about 85 to 95 degrees all year round, 100% humidity. That's about, that's about where you're looking at temperature-wise. And then Pompeii is the second rainiest place in the world. So lots and lots of rain there. You can expect rain almost on a daily basis. Like they do have a rainy season and a more rainy season, but it all kind of feels like the same amount of weather. So the missionaries there are actually allowed to wear Crocs instead of regular proselyting shoes, just because in walking in trails and through the jungle and wading through rivers and things to get to investigators, then you just get routinely soaked. Um, we keep all of our proselyting material in a wet sack in our bag, and so, so that at least our stuff is dry, even while we're sitting in a hut and water's pooling underneath our feet just because we're dripping constantly, then uh, at least our stuff is going to be dry so we can teach and do all that stuff. So very humid, very warm, very rainy, essentially. So the other islands, um, Yap is also very rainy. Um, Palau is a, little, is a little nicer. It's kind of the Japanese equivalent of Hawaii. They go there a lot for their tourism islandy experience. Palau actually hosted Survivor here a while ago. So um, not, not a lot going on out on these islands. Guam and Saipan are a little bit more dry, relatively speaking. I mean, they still get rain frequently, but um, Chuuk and Koshirai are also pretty rainy, but probably a little bit cooler than Pompeii is. So there's the weather. That's not much to say. Rainy, hot, and humid.